Dude, two weeks in a row? Say it isn't so. Clayton, are you following through on your New Year's resolutions? Well, we'll talk about that. Welcome back to Last Week This Week with your boy Clayton Hill. Uh, we're going to get into, obviously, some New Year's resolutions. Brother came in town this past weekend. And then, uh, dude, I, I just, I have to kick the booze. Like, we've... <sighs> We've got to get there, man. Um, so we're going to see if we can do some dry January as well. Sounds fun, doesn't it? Can't wait for that. Sucks. Dude, New Year's resolutions suck. Last post, I'm like, eh, piss on people who don't like New Year's resolutions. It's a great time to set up some goals. <laughs> Is it? Dude, they suck, man. Change sucks. It's hard. I don't like it. It it did change. Change sucks. And I'm like, challenges present opportunities. <laughs> God, just give me like the all the uh, the self love and like whatever books and just all the quotes of it and just toss it in a fire, dude. That said, I'm like still doing them. You know. Week one, pumped. Week two, I'm out. Later, man. <laughs> like, let's just go. Let's go back to normal where it's comfortable. It was so comfortable over there in in normal land. But that's the problem, man. I feel like uh, I feel like the guy in the mail room on Elf. Just go with the flow. No, I got to get out of the flow, man. No, no, the flow's why I'm here. It's true. I got to get out of the flow. What is, I? Uh, I got to do something, man. I'm 36 with no career and a dog. It sounds awesome when I say it out loud, though. Like, <laughs> it sounds, dude, that sounds tight. Oh, look at all the freedom. The freedom that rings through that. Sounds awesome. But uh, there's more, man. There's more out there. Waking up earlier sucks. Working out till I can't breathe sucks. Which is like, dude, it's like not even that much. Like, I am not in shape. Don't get it twisted, man. I'm not over here, like, pumping out some crazy hard workout. I've just, I've got, like, this military chick just kicking my ass on YouTube for 20 minutes. <laughs> dude, I've got my, like, little Amazon yoga mat out. And put my little hair up. And then I just suffocate for 20 minutes. And this is and this is great. This is this is what this is what the new year looks like. And, and boy, I'm just so glad it's here. I'm so glad. And then like doing all this stuff and I'm reading more, you know, and meditating and I'm learning about shit that I have no idea what it means. This whole coding and computer stuff like got through lesson one last week. Hey, you, but that but but we did it but we got through it well like what am i doing how long can this last man oh i feel so defeated after seven days uh change is tough man change is tough i'm 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 grateful that i've i've been organized i've planned out my days i've i've put time in there to read i've put time in there to work out i've put time in there you know to to learn this this coding class i've put time in there to record this podcast like if you don't have uh, something organized if you don't have a plan oh god here we go again dude what is it? Fail to plan and plan to fail. <laughs> Dude, I, I hate it here. I hate it here so much. <laughs> this, this is terrible. This is terrible. <sighs> Just break it down, dude. Just one thing at a time. Just one step at a time. Just one day at a time. Uh, one workout at a time. One exercise at a time. One page at a time. Whew. One breath at a time, man. Just stay disciplined. Just do it. Just, just Nike. Yeah. How many, how many, man, how many stupid quotes are going to happen today out of fury and frustration? 
just remember these little affirmations. You're exactly where you need to be. <laughs> Dude, I want to set this whole apartment on fire and just stand in it. <laughs> I'm, I am in so much resistance and resentment. But we had like you ah, that, but you got to keep going. <laughs> I'm going to sit here and make fun of myself the whole time and I'm fine with it. It needs to happen. But we did have some good stuff. Some good stuff did happen. My little brother came into town. I always enjoy when he comes into town. It's just always a tornado every time. We're silly dudes and we do silly things. You know, we love to have a good time. And we did. We did have a great time. We we uh, came to town on Friday. We went to the Lakers game, man. Heck yeah. Great seat. Center court. Awesome. He's a Grizzlies fan. I'm not a big basketball guy, you know, so I'm like, hey, bring me a jersey. I've got a, a Lakers Shaquille O'Neal jersey on, right? So we're, we're good. We're repping. Everything's fine. Had just having a good time and join each other's company, man. There's there's this dude, uh, you know, and I, like I said, I don't care about basketball. So there's there's this guy uh, on on the Grizzlies team. His last name is Smart, and we're just rallying up the crowd around us. Anytime this dude from the Grizzlies scores, he's wicked smart. You can't you can't stop him. He's too smart. <laughs> over and over dude i don't know how long a game is i don't even know if there's halves or if there's quarters but for the duration of this game he's wicked smart you can't stop him he's too smart <laughs> man and the lakers were like keeping up and it was pretty much lakers were ahead i felt like every time i looked up at the at the scoreboard the lakers were ahead not by much but they were ahead and then lo and behold man the grizzlies just take it at the end and it, i'm pretty sure that that dude had like the last shot or something man and then everyone turned on us the whole uh, some people had looks on their faces but then uh, you know then like these these kids were yapping or whatever and i'm a couple cocktails in so I, so I tell them to shut up they're 12 they don't even know they were pointing at some like uh the intramural championship that's what my brother called it anyway like the in season tournament <laughs> it was just, man i don't know i love a good a good jaw and back and forth during a sporting event why not so went to the lakers game dude great great seats middle court what do they call it center court awesome we're having a good time just enjoying being with each other saturday we hit up nine goals of golf nine goals nine holes of golf hit up some golf i got some clubs for christmas got to test those out a new putter putter changed my game man i'm the greatest putter in the world that's, I mean, that's kind of what it makes you think. You're like, oh, my, my short game sucks. I'll get a, a different pitching wedge. I'll get, I get a different putter. And it worked for a little bit. I do like it. I think it really did help because it's a different style of putter. And I think I'm more comfortable with it. But who cares? Like, I still suck. Had a great time, though. We got outside, got up off the couch after a late night, got outside, hit some golf, only played nine holes. We didn't want to be in a rush. Why? Because we went to see the Eagles, man. We went to see the Eagles live in concert, dude. Now, obviously, not everybody's, you know, there. Vince Gill's filling in. Glenn's kid's filling in. But the Eagles, man, was special guest, Steely Dan. We missed some of that. I didn't really... I'm not a huge Steely Dan guy. There are a few... Uh, a few songs they sing that that I'll recognize, uh, you know. But it was, uh, it, I mean, how can you not have fun, man? Except for the fact that we were at, I think the the top row of anything that's ever been built. The we went to the forum. I've never been to the forum, and I wanted to buy tickets that were like a little. They weren't like you know. You don't want to be super sideways and then just staring at a, a side profile of people the whole time. But I didn't want to be directly back because I've done that in like stadiums and stuff, and you feel like you're so far away you can't even see the people that are singing. So we did a little bit of the middle ground. Like I got you know the like not directly away, but not directly on the side. We got somewhere in the middle. 
And I'm like, I think these are going to be good seats. It seems like a, you know, a smaller venue, a little more intimate. That's what the map looked like online. Section 227, row 27. Okay, it doesn't sound like, I mean, it's not a 300 level. It's not a 500 level like there is at SoFi. Two, 200s? Sure. Sounds great. <laughs> we get there, dude. And I swear that we just like, we we just kept looking at the rows and wondering like, are they really only going up by one? Every step was just one row. And we just kept going and we kept going and we kept <laughs> we were like, dude, are we still, is this still not our row? Like, are we still climbing? It felt... It felt like the one of the opening scenes from Ace Ventura when nature calls with like the grand staircase that goes up to the to the monks or whoever's meditating. It's just like this grand. It is the stairway to heaven. Are we at the Led Zeppelin concert? Are we are we here at the Eagles? Because it just kept going up. And finally, we get there and we're just we're we're, we're out of breath. And we're laughing at this point because we can't believe how ridiculous that it is. And then we're just watching other people suffer as they reach their seats when they get to the top. And then we look and it's like we're uh, we're above the ceiling, dude. Like the ceiling, the ceiling is is there and it, it just it's like coming. It's coming down, but like I'm still staring directly at it. Like I have to really look down this almost it's vertigo ish, dude. Like you I mean, you're you're just like you're up there, man. It's just like a straight drop. It is a cliff down to the stage. And we had a long Friday night, a painful, painful Friday night. And so I am, my stomach doesn't feel good. And we're just sitting up here dehydrated. Like we forcing ourselves to enjoy this concert because it's the Eagles and I'll be damned if I do not enjoy this. This is what we grew up on. Via way of father, right? Like obviously I was born late eighties. He was born in the nineties. Eagles been around for a while, but I just, that was absolutely hilarious, man. Just the, the, the series of events. Oh, there goes uh, Rambo's bone. Oh, Rambo's bone makes an appearance. Bone alert. <laughs> Get me out of here, man. I hate it. In 2024, it's it, it, uh, second week of 2024. Is so painful. So painful. But what a time, dude. The Eagles take it to the limit. Please. Bro, put me on the album. You know, Joe Walsh was there doing some of his stuff, too. What's that? What the, the, the Rocky Mountain Way. Hell yeah, man. Give me some of that. Life in the fast lane. Hell yeah, dude. The Eagles. America. That's just good old fashioned fun right there. Had an awesome time, man. Uh, you know, and then, and then he had to leave. <laughs> just uh, you you gotta go you can't be here anymore we we're supposed to go to the chiefs uh and chargers football game but uh the chiefs had already clinched nobody was playing so scratch that sold those tickets for 25 percent of what i paid for them mm, that felt good felt so good so I mean, that was last week man that was last week which leads us to moving forward man moving forward Dry January's got to start up. I know some people are doing it. I'm going to be some of those people. I have to, man. I have to. The level that I accelerated at into the evening on Friday night was unacceptable. Just a fury. A, just a raging ball of fury. Now, here's this is where this is where it gets complicated for me. Because it's always a good time. Every time that I go out, it's not like I try to cause fights or, you know, I'm being a huge nuisance. No, I'm sitting there cracking dumb jokes, meeting strangers and making friends. Never met a stranger. You know, just making friends, buying rounds for people, having a good time, laughing it up. Ha 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 ha. 
Dude, it's all it's all a false fun, man. It is all a false fun. Because we did. We did have a good time. We went to the Lakers game and had a great time. And by the end of the Lakers game, I'm yelling at 12-year-old dudes. Like, I don't know. They're probably a little older. They're probably older. Man. They're probably in high school. But you know what I mean? Like, I'm arguing with children. What? Not really. I'm just saying, you know, sit down. You're young. You don't know anything. Like, that kind of stuff. Whatever. You lost one game. Get over it. Which it is. It's bad. Do you lose one game, dude? I just, that's me against sports fans in general. Like, I'll, it'll hurt for me for a little bit, but like, get over it. It's sports. You're not playing. You had nothing to do with that game. Move on. There are way bigger things in life. You know, I'm just like trying to educate these kids with an attitude, but unnecessary. Go to a bar. Shout out Barney's and WeHo. Hey, yo. If you're a TikToker, I probably met you. Apparently, that's the thing right now. I'm not sure why. Spent hundreds of dollars stupid amount of money just round after round after round after round okay cool man that already lost money on on the tickets losing money at the bar so we're we're spending money we don't have we're yelling at children the next day i wake up in pain dude pain pain well let's not even uh, hold on hold on had to stop the uber coming home right Cause your boy can't handle the motion and we're too far gone and I need to get some demons out of my stomach. So I had to have the Uber pull over, did my business there, had to walk in, brother had to take out the dog cause I couldn't do it. Wake up Saturday morning, what should have been a nice, fun, easy day of golf now turns into survival mode. Pain, 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 dude, pain, so much pain, drinking as much water as I can having nothing in my stomach but trying to keep whatever's in there down. You know, probably played one of my most relaxed uh, games of golf because I just had no energy to swing. Made some good contact now that I think about it. Silver lining. No, pain, dude. Then we go to the Eagles concert. The Eagles concert. Like, dude, last chance to see them. Once in a lifetime opportunity for me. It should be sick. Instead, I'm sick, dude. I'm sick. I'm at the top of this hell that we had, this hellish mountain that we had to climb to get there. It's ruining so many things for me. And then Sunday morning, I sleep in. I finally get some rest. Hell yeah, dude. But anxiety. Like physical pain might not be as much because I finally got some rest. But now, now just anxiety is coming through. What did I say that night? What did I do? I'm pretty sure I, I absolutely hit up a crush from like a year or two ago that, I mean, I'm still, you know, suck. But like probably said some stupid shit. I won't even look at the messages, man. Not even going to go there. And I'm sure it's probably fine. Honestly, like, I'm a good dude. I don't say, like, too much ridiculous stuff. Right? It's probably okay. But the fear, bro. The fear. I ruined it with my angel. It'll never happen now. I mean, it's like, I'm pro- I don't know. Maybe, maybe there was no angel to be had in the first place. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you just do this stuff. You say things. You do things you don't want to do. It just, it's... It, and then, and but it's like, but it's such a good, dude, I had such a good time. How can it be? Like, I think it is, it's, it's, it's like a, uh, as equally as a good time as it is, it's, it's just as equally painful and terrible. And I cannot find that balance. I legit cannot find that balance. Me personally, I cannot find that balance. I've been trying to find this balance. I've been trying to find this balance for years. Like college, cool. Yeah, that's just what, you know, like mentally, yeah, that's what's happening. Whatever, whatever. Then after college, you're like, okay, yeah, it's fine. You know, it's just part of the whatever, whatever, whatever. And then you start to be like, hmm, hmm, something <laughs> kind of seems like I have a problem. Um, but I don't want to, we're not, no, yeah, no, dude, it's fine. 
You're good, dude. You no, dude. You're always hey. You go out and you have a good time. Other people really enjoy when you come out. Like they want you to come out. They're always asking you to come out. No, dude. Like you're fine. Just so much denial. What was it? Friday night? It's Monday, and I just now like halfway feel better. <sighs> pain, bro. This episode is so much pain. 2024 is pain. But we're going to get through it, man. I'm kicking the can. We're going to see what happens. I've done it before. I think I did uh, 75 days before. Surely I can do like three weeks. And I'm not a big partier either. Like that's that like really I had a big episode when I went home. Rode an ambulance. Family couldn't find me, had to come pick me up the next morning. Real embarrassing. It was a whole traumatic experience and a light clicked like that. And I was like, hey, stop this. And then it would happen like every like less, less and less and less and less. Now you might catch me like once every like three or four months. Otherwise, I really don't touch the stuff. So maybe we should do more than dry January. I don't know. Smart, start small, dude. Everything is too much for me right now. This life is overwhelming. <laughs> and I just need to just start small, but we're going to try to do dry January, man. We're going to try to get it done. I'm going to try to get out of all this regret, all of this shame, all of this pain. We're going to try to move on to better things. There has to be like, this is, this can't be, this can't be like my full potential. And I think that's where it really comes into too. Into too. Right? Like this can't be the best version of me. Right, because when I'm when I'm when I drink, I do all this like Saturday ruined Sunday, just a recovery. And then what did I do? I just shoved my face full of food, food, food. I had like 10 wings. Uh, I had like a chicken Philly with uh, uh, fries. I had half of this cake that I had left. I had a pint of ice cream, cookie dough, uh, Ben and Jerry's core, actually. So it's just like. Mm, chunks of cookie dough fantastic and then i had half a, a bag of the of uh uh what are they they're not frosted donuts they're pow- powdered powdered donuts and then half a can of pringles <sighs> this can't be it this can't this can't be my full potential dude i can't have like three or four days of just absolute turmoil after one night of fun I refuse to believe it. And when I'm, hey, when I'm not drinking, and guess what? When I'm not drinking and I'm not smoking, I wake up on time. I wake up bright eyed. I wake up focused. I work out. I eat better. My mental clarity is better. I have a better attitude, a better outlook on life. That sounds dope. Uh, give me more of that. Did this just turn into a pity party, man? Whatever, dude. All I'm saying is that alcohol is tricky as fuck, man. And everybody needs to be careful. I, and let's, I'm going to try to do some dry January business. Kick some demons, dude. Try to level up. Because life is hard. That's the thing. Life, life's tough. Life is hard. It's going to throw some stuff at you, man. It, it, sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose. We're all just out here and we're trying to be better. We're all out here. We're trying to level up baby and with that said you are enough uh i watched barbie and how cute i don't know about cute it, the the um i thought it was absolutely hilarious the cheesiness of it got me i'm a cheesy guy so i love the cheesiness and then whenever ryan gosling had that you are enough ken enough enough there we go made the connection that i immediately started searching for those uh hoodies online so uh that'll probably hit the wardrobe but until then man you are enough you got this stick to the resolution stick to the goals stick to the plan be disciplined push through level up baby lord jesus for the love of god help me level up and help me through this dry January, baby. All right, that'll do it for us this week. On Last Week This Week with your boy Clayton Hill. Follow me on YouTube, Spotify, Instagram, Apple Podcasts, wherever you watch, wherever you listen, you can find me. 
Until then, peace and love y'all. Level up, baby. Let's go.